This is our MRS 22 Spring 2022 Midterm 1 Review, question number one. And uh, this question in this case is dealing with a Pythagorean theorem problem, but we're dealing with what's called um, reciprocal trig shields. Okay, so not like sine, cosine, tan, but in this case, they're reciprocals. But the very first thing we want to do is we want to find out what the measure of one side of the right triangle is. They don't give us diagram. So what you have to do is kind of draw your own. So first off, right triangle, right? We know it's a right triangle, it tells us this. And our right angle will be angle C. So we want to label that because they say angle C is a right angle. Now, where we put A and B, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to put, in this case, uh, well, since I want to find B, I'll put B here, put A here. Because it makes, maybe it makes it a little easier for, for me to be able to see, since everything is being in terms of B. So uh, so in this case, um, B, C is 4, and A, B is the square root of 41. Now, uh, I know sometimes the radicals kind of feel a little threatening, but you'll find in this case not so much. You shouldn't worry about it so much in this case. Um, really because we're using Pythagorean theorem, and anytime you square a square root, it's just the number underneath the radical, the radicand in this case. Uh, so yeah, we want to find the third side of, of a right triangle. I'll call this, in this case, B. And so we use our Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Where C is going to be the hypotenuse, OK? So I think some errors that students make is that they just, oh, well, I'm always looking for C. Uh, no, I'm not always looking for C. I'm looking for a missing side. And it's. The leg squared, first leg squared plus second leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. And hypotenuse is always going to be the leg, the side, not leg, but the side opposite the right angle. So I'm going to label this H here for hypotenuse. Okay, so that means in this case that we're going to put the under C is square root of 41. So it's the square root of 41 squared. Now a lot of students go, why do I have to write everything out? Because it's such a waste of time. You'd be surprised how helpful it'll be in this case for you. So in this case, A is 4 squared, and we are looking for B squared. Now, again, you know why am I writing things out? Because I want to make sure I don't make errors, because it's possible to make errors, right? And I want to minimize that whenever possible. So 4 squared is 16. And we have B squared, just B squared. I don't know what that is and also, but in this case, Square 41 squared is going to be 41. Now we're going to subtract 16 from both sides. And we get b squared is equal to, it looks like, um, it looks like in this case, 25, which is a nice number, right? And therefore, we take that b squared and take the square root of that. So, so we want to find in this case, not because now we're not putting 25 into the side of a triangle. That's b squared. So we want to take the square root of that, and we find that the the missing side is going to be 5. Okay. All right. So we have found our missing side here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the I want to, I want to take all this good work here. I'm going to take a little space here. So I'm going to take all this good work here. And I'm going to make it a little smaller, keep it on the screen for those who want to see, like, where did it come from? Where did it come from? All right, so I'll put this aside here, okay? Now, we talk about cosecant. Now, cosecant in this case, cosecant of B. So here's the angle B we're focusing on, focusing angle B here. And so this is the leg opposite of angle B, and this is the leg adjacent angle B, okay? Now, one way to do this is to memorize the ratios, which you can do. I'm totally good with that, though. But sometimes in this case, what we want to do is we know sine, cosine, tangent. So a sine ratio, so you say, well, well, sine of B, we're not looking for the angle. We're looking for the ratio. Okay, looking for the ratio in this case. So sine of B is going to be the like, opposite over hypotenuse. So it's 5 over the square root of 41. Cosine of B, leg adjacent over hypotenuse, which in this case is 4 over square root of 41. And the tangent ratio, 
which is 10 b is leg opposite over the leg adjacent which is 5 over 4. Now why is it helpful? Well one of the things we should understand in this case is that I'll make this give us a little space here is that cosecant of b is equal to 1 over the sine of b and the secant of b is 1 over cosine of b and the cotan of b is 1 over tan of b now why is it helpful well if i know cosine of, if i know sine of b cosecant of b is just the just the same ratio as sine of b but reciprocal of so cosecant of b is equal to the square root of 41 over 5. See what we did here? Always there was, we, we kind of flipped this. Right, to the reciprocal of the sine of b. And all we do is take the reciprocal of the, of the ratio. All right. Therefore, secant of b is 1 over cosine. All right, so secant of b is the square root of 41 over 4 because we're taking the reciprocal of cosine so just take so the key thing here is find the sine ratio of the angle the cosine ratio of the angle and the tan ratio of the angle and take the reciprocal of each one you just got to know in this case so people think that cosecant is the reciprocal of cosine and that's not the case the cosecant is a reciprocal of sine and secant is a reciprocal of cosine so it's the one that you don't think it is uh, does that make any sense? Because you're flipping everything, All right? And so finally, for the cotan of b, that's one over tan of b. So cotan of b is just going to be the reciprocal of of tan of b. Well, tan of b is five over four, so cotan of b is four over five. So we've got to flip this one too. All right. So I'll just draw the little trails here. So. The sine of b is related to the cosecant of b. The cosine of b is reciprocal of one of oh, secant of b. And finally, in this case, the tan of b is related to is reciprocal of cotan of b. And so you just gotta take those sine, cosine, tan, and just take the reciprocals up. And so your final answer will be in this case these ratios here not looking for decimals looking for the ratios and so this is what we're looking for on our midterm all right hopefully this is helpful and you guys watch this and watch it again you can ask questions like hey how would you get this and all very important to remember these ratios okay but they're related to sine cosine tan just the reciprocals up so instead of you know you could and now on the flip side of things you can say in this case well what if i want to memorize the ratios oh you could in this case so cosecant is normally just a, as a ratio, cosec of, cosecant of the angle is usually going to be, since reciprocal sine is hypotenuse over leg opposite. And secant is the ratio of the hypotenuse over a leg adjacent of the angle. And finally, cotan is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, if that's how you want to do this null, you can do it that way too, because look at this here. We've already labeled, right? We already labeled, I'll put a little B here, so I'm going to put a little B here. But, um, angle B, because that's the angle we're, we're focusing on here. And so hypotenuse here is square 41. Like opposite of angle B is 5, and notice the same thing. Secant B is hypotenuse square 41. And a leg adjacent to angle B is 4. And finally, leg adjacent to angle B is 4. And the, hypo uh, and the oh, I put, I put, sorry. This is, this is uh, opposite, not hypotenuse. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, early in the morning. All right. Leg adjacent to, to angle B is 4. And the leg opposite is 5. So again, same thing. No, same thing here. All right, everybody. I hope it's helpful. 
you can watch it over again if you need to. All right, write these things down and try them out with other ratios, like maybe three, four, or five. All right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hope, let me know what you think, and I hope they're helpful. Look forward to seeing this on your midterm or something like this. No, not the same questions, of course, not the same numbers, but very similar to this, though. Okay, everybody, I'll see you next video. Take care.